I personally love cars. That's why I created this channel. Now I haven't done anything new about electric cars in a while, so I figured that enough stuff has changed since my Tesla adventures to actually have something to say. And I'm just gonna say it. I think there are a lot of automotive manufacturers out there that are in serious trouble. Serious. bit of a different setting today this is actually the studio for my other channel which is about live streaming so for those of you who've never seen me before outside the car channel that's what I do on the other side of this YouTube thing but either way in the couple of years since I did my last electric car video a lot has happened in the world we saw the car market prices go completely nuts as supply became dangerously low on new and even used vehicles all the while, companies have pushed hard to bring their electric cars to the market. Now the economy has taken a turn for the worse and the market for cars is definitely crashing. People paid way too much for anything they bought over the last two years and a lot of people are completely upside down in their cars. The crash even caused Tesla to lower its prices drastically, devaluing everything that they've sold over the last two years. It's not a good time to be a new car owner right now, but like everything else, it will pass and things will eventually normalize. Personally, my biggest concern is the sheer number of new electric vehicles that are being released. I just can't figure out who the car companies think are gonna buy these cars. They have a serious problem on their hands and here is why. Unlike Tesla, every other EV manufacturer is just releasing their cars with no thought towards charging infrastructure. There are YouTube videos all over the place detailing the nightmare of charging a non-Tesla car. You can find those videos by Rich Rebuild and the Stratman just to name a couple of the major players. The chargers are slow and half the time they don't work. They're hard to find and sometimes they aren't even where the apps tell you they're supposed to be. Basically, the charging system is a real issue if you don't own a Tesla. Now I know electric car advocates are saying it doesn't matter, you just charge them at home. And sure, that's great for those who own a garage. But what percentage of car owners even have a garage? 50%? I'll bet it's less than that. Car companies won't be able to sell enough to only people who own a garage to actually make a profit. There's also the price and range problem. These cars are too expensive to buy and the ranges are just too small. Sure, 250 miles is about average, but that's at 70 degrees in the summer or in California. That range is a lot smaller in the dead of winter in a lot of the country sometimes almost half. Imagine driving to a football game, you park with about 150 miles of range left, plenty to get home. Of course, it's 20 degrees outside and snowing all day, and by the time you get back out to your car, it has about 70 miles of range and it's dropping fast. Now you have to worry about finding a charger just to get home. You better hope that you actually find one that works too. People will buy these things thinking they're just gonna replace their current car and all will be the same, just quieter. Nothing could possibly be further from the truth. There is no reliable charging infrastructure for any other EV at the moment. And worse yet, there is no one really doing anything about it. The charging infrastructure is a complete afterthought if you're considering buying any EV that's not named Tesla. So do your homework. There are some really cool EVs out there now, but the trade-off to own one of these may be way too steep, especially if you don't own a garage to charge it in. The charging issue will take years to fix, and they want to sell these cars right now. I think it's gonna be an absolute disaster. And there are a bunch of manufacturers who totally mortgaged their entire future on electric cars. Ford and Chevy are in D. When these vehicles fail to sell, and I say when because it will happen, I'm not sure these companies are gonna survive. It's not even a matter of whether these cars are better for the environment or anything like that. People want whatever they buy to work like the old car did without any compromises. 
Right now, electric cars are full of compromises and you pay a premium to have the privilege to deal with them. These companies went all in on EVs and never thought once about the consumer experience when they have to charge these things. I'm really afraid that the ownership satisfaction is going to be absolutely abysmal when regular people start to actually buy these things. Once the reports on issues with owning these EVs start to hit the mainstream, how are these companies gonna sell them? And it's not just one manufacturer who expects to use these charging stations that are slow and unreliable at best. It's all of them not named Tesla. That's a lot of EVs with no reliable place to charge. If only these companies did what Tesla did and make the charging a priority, things could be a lot different. Personally, right now, the only electric car that I would buy is a Tesla because of the charging infrastructure. It's the only viable option and they're still too expensive. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you wanna see the build progress on my 1984 BMW 733i, you should check this video out. Now, why am I rebuilding an old BMW that's not worth anything? Well, it could only be for the love of cars. And if I can figure it out, I know you can too. So go out there and find that car that you absolutely love. Fix it up. Put it back on the road. It will make you feel really good. You know what? I'll see you in the next one.